<laughs> we went to go ask Amy to be in the movie. But then he also followed up. He said, "My, he, he just all like you said, appeared to me. Oh God, what if she'd have turned this, turned Muppet? If she'd have turned Kermit down? They had no follow up. But what happened was, was they said they penciled all of these people in that they wanted. They penciled them into the script. And those are the only ones they asked. <laughs> and, and it never dawned on a whole bunch. It's like, what would happen? I know, they were already in the script. Now, one of the ones, um, who was the surprise? Chris Cooper. Oh, yeah. Oh, Chris Cooper does a song and dance routine, folks. A rap. A rap. <laughs> Which you never. Yeah. It's like, it's real, like where did that come from? <laughs> yeah, <laughs> but like he said that, uh, uh, Jason said, that he understands why the Cooper got an Academy Award and many nominations, and Amy has a, had many nominations, because they really take it seriously. They, you know, because they said Cooper went and studied, you know, he said that some of those guys are really, they're great actors. And he's basically, and they said, you know, like, my God, Chris Cooper's on top of table dancing. And he can dance, he, you know, he can rap, he can dance. You know, which is a basically, Chris Cooper never does anything funny. I mean, I don't, I mean, okay, it's just like, um, I mean, I mean, I've met, um, the, what was the guy that played James Bond? No, Timothy Dalton. I've met Timothy Dalton. He's the most god-awful, boring person on the screen in the world on, te on movies and TV. In person, the guy is basically Leslie Nielsen. He never stops being body. And that, uh, my guess is Chris Cooper off camera that did the rapping, dancing Cooper is really Chris Cooper. And he just... It dance. was it was really just kind of funny because it was something that you would never expect, and I, I can still remember going on this watching it on the screen. Oh, we did get to see the ever growing, you know, uh, ever growing leading lady in the movie though. She was she was a little bit expecting what the movie was on. Uh, but you know, Amy Adams is great in this movie. Oh, she's, she's singing and she's dancing. Just, you know, I, I can see why they wanted Amy because she's. Like these roles were built for her. Well, yeah, I mean, she was meant to be a Disney musical actress. She was, you know, meant to be in those things. And it's just she came in like a generation too late to do this stuff. But now she's done. This is a musical, folks. It's got a lot. It's got a lot of old Muppet movies that you want to hear, and it's got new Muppet songs. They didn't, unfortunately. Well, actually, they still have it. It is on the list for Academy Awards. Short list. Well, you know, it was unusual. It was actually seeing the Muppets on the big screen because usually you see it on the TV and it's small. And I'm watching, looking at Miss Piggy. I'm like, oh, she's not a phone. Well, no. And what happened too is that because well, because it's her whole head, the whole yeah, screen. Because the, the the screenings are basically meant for Academy mem for Guild members. Oh, and what, part of it is we do sit really close to the screen. We you actually, know, you know, those seats that nobody likes to take where you're going like this. Yeah, you, we got those we, seats. We, uh, we actually like those seats. <laughs> if you want to see, okay, she's doing it from the the from the perspective of um, of. Of, a per, of an audience member. I'm bringing it from the perspective of a person that works in the industry for, you know, God likes it, 1970, 1942. Yeah, but um, but um, I sat there and see, it's the first damn movie I've seen where they didn't screw up the camera work. Yeah. I mean, it actually looked like the people knew what they were doing with the equipment. You know what? They probably do. I know. Okay. They spent a lot more money too. Mm -hmm. I, I don't think they did shortcuts on those things. No, 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 no. They did not do shortcuts. They over. Okay, what happens is when you put a whole bunch of. Okay, um, I, I I got to set in. Okay, they were uh, we were doing a, um, a thing years ago uh, with uh, about it. You're doing. You were using a stage show in Las Vegas being set up to film an episode of a television series working on. And I'm sitting there watching the. You know the dancers rehearse, and um, and the problem was you had dancers that really loved what they were doing, and because they loved you what they were doing, you can always tell. On the and the choreographer knew what, loved what he was doing, so they were overdoing it. You know, like the guys, like that. God, we only got so much money, we can't do that. And they said, well, we'll do it anyway. Mm -hmm. And the problem is, is these guys had the money, and you give people that love what they're doing money. They'll do it. They will do it, and they will overdo it, folks. Well, Wait. yeah, because as one of the guys said, um, the, the blonde guy who was on the panel, he said the pressure was from his six-year-old self, yeah. meaning it was probably him as a six-year-old and what he remembered the Muppets being. And so now he gets to work on a Muppet movie, and he wants to do it justice to, to be like this vision that he had mm -hmm. in his mind. And it was exactly. It was... 
the television show where you had all of the major stars, including presidents of the United States, doing it. You know, Jimmy Carter had done it. I think, really? I think Nixon had done it. Every all the presidents wanted to do the Muppet Show because the Muppets were sort of uh, oh, political. They have no parties because they don't really exist. So they sing yeah. everybody. <laughs> and you wanted it was like Laugh In, where everybody would go on because the Muppets are going to do a one-liner. It's just um, in my era with Charlie McCarthy and Edgar Bergen. Charlie McCarthy basically had a really bad mouth towards Paul. He insulted more presidents than you could think of, you know. You know <laughs> and he would do it and get away with it. The Muppets, Muppets were Jim Henson's way of making political statements and getting away with political statements. He was saying everybody though, which is um, which is what I'm trying to. This is a fifty million dollar movie. You see the fifty million dollars in production. That's the yeah, production you actually, cost. Yeah, you do see it in there because there's so many of these movies. You're like, where do they spend the money? Yeah. No, you you see it in there because I I'm still like surprised at how many Muppets they had on the screen at one time in a lot of the scenes. And there were production numbers and production numbers took. I, mean, I think one of the didn't realize how long this was going to take. They only had so long to film it. Because I mean, they filmed. I mean, they okay. I, I, I remember my I, my used to, my mother used to work at Mel's Diner in Los Angeles, and I spent a bit of my life in Mel's Diner. They went into Mel's Diner to film. They went into uh, the old Muppet Studio in Los Angeles, basically, which they made look like crap. But they were they did, and then they filmed a god awful massive production number, even with the you know with the special effect camera. There was a lot of people. Oh, here's a neat thing. You want to know? How, how much people wanted to come see that movie. One of the dancers from the sequence that was featured in the movie, sat there in the movie, he was sitting like three, you know, sitting three places over from us, and he went in and there he is with a beard, dancing behind, uh, you know, Jason Segel and Amy Adams, he's behind, you know, so he, you know when he came? He came to see himself in a Muppet movie. <laughs> I mean, like he didn't see himself in a Muppet movie before, but he wanted. He to wanted see to see it. it again. He wanted to see it again with other people in the industry. So, you know, this is one of those movies. This has already been out in the theater. It's been out for two weeks now, but it, this is done yet. And it didn't do as well as expected. But I think this is one of those ones that people will buy because it's like it's, I want to buy it to see the DVD. outtakes. It's a DVD. This is a something because see. We're telling you, we understand there's a lot of stuff that you've not, that basically you're going to look for Muppets 1, Muppets 2, you're going to look for the director's version, the producer's version, Jason's version, and it's got to be got off a lot more musical numbers than what you saw because they always overdo. Yeah, every, you know, this was one of those movies, okay, the Muppets movie, here's one of the things, you know you're going to go to the movie and you're going to have a good time and feel good coming out. Yeah, mm -hmm. but it's a, it's a mo movie that really does have a message of getting together again. What happens but if you get together, you can do anything. Mm -hmm. Which should have been a song for you know, That would have been a perfect one. Which they totally forgot. But they did do uh, you know uh, you know the the Rainbow song that did win the Academy Award a few years ago. And um, they had a nice musical score. Some of the song Man okay, Man or Muppet, Muppet or Man is basically a fun a fun song. That's a fun. And, and and I said that well here's when they said that Jason Jason dances like a bleached a beast well. Um, so, that was according to whom? Yeah, his mother is a dancer. S since then. <laughs> yeah, since then he has uh, he has lost uh, lost like 60, 70 pounds and That's is thinking seriously about dancing with the stars because here he is. All these people are dancing and he's. And then they, well, actually, could you imagine if they redid those dance scenes with him now? Now much lighter. But Amy things. Adams, who is very plump, is doing her pirouettes and, and doing yeah, all this stuff. She's doing dancing up she the did, storm. She's a total pro at it. Oh yeah, because she did. Remember she did. Was it Cinderella with uh, uh, Patrick? Patrick Dempsey. Patrick Dempsey, and he was he another one that did so. He you know playing Prince Charming. Oh, we forgot. There's another Prince Charming. What? Patrick Dempsey is Prince Charming also. But he already did it. It's not an upcoming. No, movie. no, but he did it. He did. Uh, play. He true. did the one with Cinderella. Oh, that's right. We forgot him. Actually, we got him. We got him. We've interviewed. We've been. You've got pictures with him. I've met him several times. I know he's a nice guy. You know, really super good looking in public too. So he looks in public exactly like he does on camera, which is not normal. Mm -hmm. Generally, they're made up. No, this guy just looks that way. But and oh, I can tell you, Jason. Okay, you know, he, you know, I I am single. <laughs> <laughs> you, know, you know, 
He, he, I think said something. I don't want to go around. You know, I said, yeah. They said he doesn't want to go around with his mother anymore. He, he is single. So I mean, they were harassing him because he was. You know, he okay. Um, like I said, he got Jack Black to be the person in the movie. You know what? The, the Jack Black scenes. Actually, Chris Cooper scenes were great. <laughs> Oh, the maniacal laugh. <laughs> maniacal laugh. <laughs> maniacal laugh. <laughs> you know, basically, that comes out of uh, Michael, you know, Michael Myers' gold. You know, you know. Uh, <laughs> you know, his, you know he's the, the, the um, laugh, yeah. So those were funny, but the scenes with Jack, I mean, the Jack Black scenes are just so funny. Yeah, since we've already, since it's already a theater, you can tell people he did not volunteer in the care in the movie to it, be, in, you know, to be the host of the show. <laughs> he, and he was the celebrity host. And, 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 and part of it, for real, they did actually, in one scene, did torture him. Because Jack Black is a professional singer. He may play, you know, with, uh, with Tanaya to see, you know, <laughs> okay, and, but okay. he is a okay. singer. Yeah, okay, actually we can let them in on this one. Yeah. His torture, Okay. Yeah. Was he was tied up and had to listen to the barbershop quartet by the butchering a piece of music. <laughs> oh, I mean, you can listen listen to what he says on the screen. This is not what we're supposed to be. I mean, they had him tied to the chair. He could not move, and they they tortured him with really bad music. <laughs> it was. It was. It was but they did. Okay, you know, so we enjoyed the movie. Yeah, <laughs> no, but they did say that you know he started. Uh, Jason Segel started out as a writer for Jack Black. He gave him his first job, so he was the uh, easiest one to get because he already knew that he liked the Muppets and stuff. But it um, was it was just funny. But I don't think Black knew he was going to actually be tied to a thing and not let up. I mean, the whole time. I mean, they just tied. No. He did no, they were talking during the entire end of the movie. He is tied to a chair and then hauled around like a piece of furniture, folks. And, you know, and and then you know, like he's sitting there like a good sport, and having everything done to him. I don't how how I think some of that help was probably for real. So. It was pretty because funny. Okay, it you know, was pretty funny. People forget the Muppets aren't real. They yeah, but you, but when you sit there and watch them on there, you just think of them not as a Muppet. You think of them. As a man, yeah, as, as a person. Yeah, as a man. Muppet or man, man or Muppet. That's, that was basically, people do not think of the Muppets as... Puppets. Puppets, and that's are, because that's another thing. Uh, uh, Jason is listed as a puppeteer, which means he's played, he plays with puppets, too, so, you know. But, um, you know, it's, it, it is absolutely a good family movie for everybody to go see. I mean... Uh, it, it is. It is. It's okay. Just... The kids won't mind. Okay. A lot of the, the Zoom. Okay. The Muppets have always done adult humor, but the adult humor has never been set, put in such a matter that the kids won't think it's funny, because they may not. You know. Oh yeah. I can understand that. You know. You know, like Mount Rushmore. You know, taking a head off of Mount Rushmore and putting a Muppet's head on. <laughs> you know. Well, it's it's humor that kids understand. Like you said, kids understand because some adult humor is the kids don't understand it at all. Yeah. Right. right. This is for kids and adult, for families. I mean, the Muppets have been a part of the Disney people, Disney company for. They've been not a part of it, a part of it, not a part of it, a part of it. But if you listen to really. Well, Walt Disney said, I wanted to do something for children of all ages. The Muppets are for children. Look at the room. I mean, there are people, uh, like the little, there were kids.